Let's be very, very, very clear, okay? I had a lot of fun in my 20s. <laughs> a lot of fun. I was on a hit TV show. Yes. I was doing my damn thing. For I had a lot of fun years, in my 20s for many with years. With them legs and them toes my out. My 30s, I was more selective with what I was happening, and I'm very selective going forward. And it's so funny because we... Guys, you're looking at the thumbnail, you're looking at the title of the video, y'all already know what time it is. It is time to get active. Guys, we've been blessed by the content gods, all right? We're going to have fun with this one here today as well. Now, I did a video none too long ago, all right? It was entitled, Julissa from 106 and Park is single, 38 she doing and delusional okay uh within this reaction i was going over julissa who has a youtube channel all right within that youtube channel she goes over things within her life within this video within this reaction that i did a comment that i saw that happened frequently within that is well whatever happened to roxy from 106 and park on Julissa's YouTube channel, they just released a video with Julissa and Roxy. <laughs> so, we're going to go in it. The title of that video, Kids or Career? Without further ado. We are both 30 plus <clears throat> on the... <laughs> Heavy on the plus. <laughs> oh. Well, I made my 40 already, so I'm fine with really? it. Really? I'm okay with saying my age, because I don't look my age, and nope. I think it's definitely a mentality thing. Wow. Although biologically inside, my ovaries ain't, you know, they like, yo, 40. Right. But, you know, I don't care She about don't look it, 40. It's really just a mindset, like the number of... And you I, just turned 40. I just turned 40, so it's like not a really big deal. Did feels, you have anxiety? I feel like I had more anxiety turning 38 and 39 because of like the stipulations and like the whole, oh my God, what am I doing? The baby thing, you know? So definitely at 38 was kind of like a mental almost breakdown. Like I was like, oh God, like I don't have any kids. Like, but at like during the pandemic and quarantine and, and just downtime, I just started to really prioritize. And it's like, mm -hmm. you really can make your family when you're ready to make your family. Whoa. There's no rush. What, what's so interesting about what she said is that she, during the downtime, she prioritized. But then because she hit 38 or 39, she almost had a mental breakdown because she didn't have kids yet. But the biological clock is still, what, geriatric pregnancy at 35-ish years old? So it's like the prioritization came a little bit too late if by 38, 39, you had a mental breakdown. You know what I'm saying? It seems as though, it seems as though what happened is, is like, and it's, I've experienced this too, like prior to hitting 30, you know, when you're like 28, 29, you're like, damn, like 30 is there. You know what I'm saying? But when you're in 30, you're like bumping, I'm here. And I think that's what she's trying to say. She's like, well, bumping, I don't have kids yet and I'm 40 and I'm here. So, I mean, it is what it is. But the couple of years before that, you're like, oh my God, this is actually happening. You know, should I freeze my eggs? Should I not freeze my eggs? And, but then she brings it back to a priority thing, which I think was interesting that she finished it like that. Let's keep going. To doing it. I know, but this is the thing. And it's the line between of there is no rush, but then to your point, biologically, our clocks are ticking. I mean, we can't, yes. we can't go against nature. So, because we both <laughs> passed that age, <laughs> I want to ask you seriously, are we gonna have kids or nah? You first. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not in a rush. Why me first? When, you can go first. When, I'm not. When you're listen, older. I <laughs> I am a great auntie. I am Julissa, a great that was a jab. Friend, take care of the baby, godmother, all of that stuff. I am not going to rush having a child when the situation at home is not right either. You know my mom. Yes. Where's the ring before? There's a thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> and that yeah. ring, there's a the ring before the ding goes thing. in that thing. Yeah, no. I'm with you, Roxy. Uh, so you know what I also find so uh, interesting about this is because we're all in the same age range, like me and as well as them. We're all in the same age range. 
And the way that when I hear them talking about, you know, having a kid is actually the same way that I, I am when I, t when I think about my career, my path, da, da, da. And what's so interesting about that is although we can have the similar mindsets because they are su very successful within their own right, I'm not going to take anything away from them. Um, but I'm also successful in my own right as well. You see what I'm saying? But like, I'm a guy. So biologically, I can keep on having kids until I'm 60 something years old. And to all of you folks out there, yes, I know that there's an increased risk or chance of um, a child with, you know, issues when you start having kids into your, you know, 60s and 70s and stuff like that. I don't want to have kids that late in life. But what I'm saying is, is that although we can have the same mindset, our biology enables something different. Already in your 30s, your mid 30s, your early 30s, if you do want to eventually have children, do look into the investment of freezing your eggs. I should have done it way earlier. I'm in the process of doing oh, she that. Didn't. Oh, Are you she currently yeah. doing that? Well, I've started the process, okay. yeah, of doing I it. I feel like I want to do that. Easy. It's definitely something that is very, very realistic and, and that women should really, really do. It's so funny because I went and filled in at E one day and um, Kim Whitley, the comedian Kim Whitley was there and we had a little, we just had a little, sit down and she was like, Roxy, the best advice I'll ever give you as a woman in this industry, she's like, freeze your eggs, honey. And really? do it for you, Damn. don't do it for somebody else. Don't do it, not about him or or whatever. It might not even be him that you're mm -hmm. with, you know, mm -hmm. that you decide to have children with. It might just be you on your own wanting to have a child, Right. but freeze your eggs and do it for you. So I always said by the time I turn 40, if I haven't done it yet, I gotta do it. So I'm doing it. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. Um, I am heavily thinking about it and you're just reconfirming that. Yeah. So it's the investment. Siri, you remind life. me to freeze my eggs. <laughs> I'm making out. But and um, it's not an easy process at all. A yeah, it involves a lot of shit. You having to sh shoot your. I mean, women we handle so much. Like I saw a video on Instagram of a of a woman carrying her three triplets, all of them up the stairs, two carriages here, one here, and just. You know, we wow. are super Sounds like she women needs a man. at the end of the day. Women do so much, but the process of having to freeze your eggs and do the egg retrieval and taking the shots and this, it's not, it's not comfy. To your point. So if I was there, here, here's one of the questions that I would ask is, is it worth it? I mean, you self admittedly say that you were having a mental breakdown as you almost hit your 40s, but like, I would ask, is the path that you led up to this point and the money that you've accumulated, is it worth it? the mental breakdowns that you've self-admittedly had versus not going the path of being so career oriented. And here's the thing is that many modern women today have been convinced that they can do both. The thing is that your career will get into the way and you can see it right here. Like I'm sure these women are very well paid in what they do, but it's because they fought to get where they are. Now, if you look at the, from a wage gap perspective and you still see that, you know, women make some odd percentage up on a dollar compared to men. Well, a lot of it has to do with them making concessions in their life for life that they are bringing into the world but if you want to stay on it you want to stay competitive then there's very few concessions that you can make but i wonder here's what i would ask was it worth it because it says something about the modern culture today when she has mentors in her life that just say freeze your eggs as, a, as opposed to slow your career path down a bit to make yourself more appealing for a man all right let's keep going Point. We are super women. We have so much to think about. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, the career question is also part of this. This happened to me. Have you ever been in a point in your career where you would have thought about stopping right at that moment to have a family? Never. Not one time. Damn. But I'll say this Not to once. say that we both grew up in an old and also an old school mentality yeah. TV world. It Both wasn't Latina. acceptable when I was on 106 in part to have a public relationship. We mm -hmm. were not allowed. Terrence and I were not allowed to have a public relationship while we were on 106. You know, with that being that mindset that was drilled into me of always being available, of always seemingly being single, nobody ever really knew my relationship status to this right. day. Because you always want to be either wantable, likable, or something like that. Yeah, the that, girl's got to yeah. like you, and the guy's got to want to get with you. That's yeah. like exactly. the rules. Yes. Be you can't want to. That's to be elusive. They, right. they can't really know. They can't know. Like, let me, let's be very clear. I'm 40 years old, so damn it, if I want to have a baby now, there is no producer, there is no director, there right. is no nobody in my life that can tell me at this point right now is not a good time. Kiss my ass, Hollywood. Like, right. I choose to do what I want to do. I've already sacrificed so much of my personal life for this industry 
that whatever I want to choose to do now, I have worked very hard and tirelessly yeah. and I can do whatever I want now. And most of the times the people that are telling you that you shouldn't have a child, you shouldn't get pregnant or it's going to ruin your career are men. They say that because they don't want to up the rotation of what's happening on TV. They don't right. know how the viewers are going to take it. But the viewers now are more acceptable with that. Absolutely. It's actually better for you to have a better female following because they're going to actually accept the life changes in you because women grow. Men, they still see the same person from 106 and Park. That was right. almost like 20 years ago, you know? Yeah. Like, and, and then when they grow. And then when they see us now, they're like, dang, she aged, or dang, she like, this, or that. And it's, like, um, it's called growth. It's called evolving. My other question, I guess, well, hold on. They just said a lot right there. Um, so what it is is that people don't see you for a long time and then they see you again and they're like, oh, shit, she's still around. Oh, she got like a little bit older and stuff like that, right? Like, yeah, everyone ages. Everyone gets a little bit older, you know? I think it's just something you got to deal with from a media perspective. I thought it was an interesting comment around um, God, men say this. And I think like when she says this, and I'm putting it in the context of the industry that they, that, that they work in, and maybe they're just saying that men at the top are the ones that are telling them not like relationships or something like that but whatever it's her experience i really got nothing to say about that but what i found interesting is that she said she essentially put her time into the gym and bumped the industry she can now have a kid whenever she wants so then my response to that is well then have one but what's missing out that and is the man component so i find so interesting within this discussion as they talk about you know having kids versus a career but they're also not diving into kind of the man portion of that because you need a man to be on in order to be able to do that unless she's thinking about going surrogate you know and just having a kids and like honestly and i see this actually happen with modern women modern very successful high income women right they either they go get a surrogate or they go get a dude with okay genetics and then pfft, just pop one out real quick and don't even ask the guy for child support and they just want to raise the child on their own i've actually also seen older successful women six figure plus women just adopt right as well right so like i see kind of all of that as well and so much as you know it's a free country as long as the laws allow it you know let them do whatever it is that they want to do but then i think back to the statistics of single parent households right it doesn't mean that you're a single parent you can't raise a successful child but the numbers would show that that child would be more successful if not a greater chance of being successful if there's two parents as opposed to one especially one that is a career person and that child's going from daycare to daycare to babysitter to babysitter and what have you all right let's keep going i guess you would be if you would have a child on your own. Mm -hmm. If there isn't that ring on the finger, oh. the traditional sense of mom and dad it's gonna be interesting. saying, okay, I thought of it. How are I, you gonna I raise you this have. child on your own? I grew up in a single parent household. I saw my mom raise three kids on her own. Mm -hmm. I just know how challenging and difficult that is. Big true. One person I could have you seen that I've show seen, made? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, so you see, do I see a lot of women do it? Yes. I yeah. must really, really, really want that little snotty nosed kid right. in my house, <laughs> you know, trying on my clothes or wearing my shoes if it's a girl or if it's a boy, right. dragging mud all over my house. I must really, really want that experience in order to go there and do that. But solo. Yeah, but I really wouldn't want to do it solo. How are we going to do it if Well, we solo... can't do it, Julie. As much well, as no, I love I mean... you, we physically can't do it. Well, you know what happen, I mean. Okay? <laughs> we can take, maybe you get you weekends. Wouldn't mind we watching that. that. No, 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 no. like a dog. Let's get another dog. No. If I'm 30 years old and I finally paid off my student loans, uh -huh. I got that dream job. Now I have the societal pressures of I have the dream job. So how long am I going to sustain this dream job until, you know, that, that fertility clock starts ticking. It's societal pressure that you're putting on yourself. You don't have to follow what society thinks at the end of the day. All I, mean, I Janet say- Janet Jackson did have a kid, what, at 50? Exactly. You it's don't have to follow what society says, but you gotta follow what your biology says. Yes, Janet Jackson had a kid at 50. Also, most women don't have Janet Jackson money to afford whatever she's pumping into her body to allow her body to do that, or whatever she's pumping into her frozen huevos in order to allow her to be, <laughs> to be able to do that. You understand? So it's like, I get it. But what I hear here is modern women that have reached a certain stage of career path and just say, well, I'm here right now, so bump it. And y'all ladies that are growing up, y'all need to worry about all that shit because look at me. I'm successful and I'm here. But you said earlier that you had a mental breakdown. Let's be very, very, very clear, okay? I had a lot of fun in my 20s. 
a lot of fun. I was on a hit TV show. Yes. I was doing my damn thing. For I had a lot of fun years, in my 20s for many with years. With them legs and them toes my out. My 30s, I was more selective with what I was happening, and I'm very selective going forward. And it's so funny because we posed this question <laughs> on E. The question still remains. What are we going to do? Mine are freezing. You better go get congelados. You better <laughs> go get scrambled. your freezer. Congelados, no, huevos. trying to have a social media baby that only lasts up until three because once they're like four. Listen, listen. Here, here's, here's the thing, okay, ladies. All right. What do we do? Let me answer what you do, okay? A, one, you stop being delusional, okay? B, lower your standards, lower your expectations, Open up your options, okay? Your career path doesn't determine what type of man that you can get. Men don't care about that. We're not biologically wired to care. So then dig down deep and say, okay, hasn't worked for me so far. What are the key things that I need to change within myself to get a man that I want? What does that man want? And what can I provide to that man? Okay? You guys are beautiful women. Be beautiful. Still beautiful. You still got a lot of things that's still rocking for you. And truth be told, many dudes just need their beauty. You know, I'm trying to get the dudes over here to raise their standards and expect <laughs> to expectations to a degree. But you're pretty much good right there, you know, for most men on this goddamn planet. Okay? That's what you got to do. You do those couple of things and dig down deep. Make some changes in what you find important about yourself because the dudes are probably not going to find it as important as you. Find out what the dudes that you want, what's important to them, and then optimize your life based off of those things. All right? It's as simple as that, but I find so many modern women today get in these echo chambers just like this one. You know, and shout out to them. I actually really enjoyed this conversation, all right? But they get in the, and they just start talking about it, but they're not getting down to the root of the problem. They're not getting down to the, they're, they're focused on the leaves. They're, fo they're focused on the leaves. Get down to the root. And truly, solution. Questions, comments, concerns? God already know what to do. Me over the tutorials and reviews at Gmail. Dot com. You know, I wonder to a degree, do they, do they see these reactions? <laughs> but who knows? Who, 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 who knows? Fun conversation, though. I appreciate going over shit like this as opposed to the normal hood booger shit that I normally go over. All right. Until next time, YouTube.